What is going on, brothers? I'm JK Maisie, and today we're going to be talking about systems in ending your out of control behavior with pornography and masturbation. I'm JK Maisie, head coach at Porn Reboots and founder of Elevated Recovery. We help leaders, entrepreneurs, business owners, and high performing professionals end their out of control behavior with pornography, sex, and masturbation discreetly. So today we're going to talk about systems and I like to use an acronym for systems, which is something you stick to emphatically and methodically. And often when it comes to ending our behavior with pornography, I've noticed that many men do not have any sort of system. The system that most men is uses willpower, which is, you know, you keep doing the same thing over and over again even though it is providing the same results, but these are results that actually suck. So you keep thinking that you're going to be able to stop yourself while you're edging. You're going to be able to stop yourself before you get to the point of no return, or you still believe that you can go out and after a night of drinking, not come back and view pornography or call an escort. You still believe that if you drink to the point of inebriation, that you're somehow not going to slip when you experience a hangover the next day. So you keep doing the same things and there's absolutely no structure for you. It's shocking at this point, even though I engaged in this behavior, the number of men who truly think they have a system, but they don't have anything. So what makes a good system? Well, a good system is something that gives you predictable results, which improve over time when you do the same things over and over again. So it's not just having predictable results because some men think that, you know, predictable means, you know, I know what's going to happen and it's happened before. No, the difference this time is that it is predictable and it is improved. And the amazing thing about that, brother, is that the thing that's going to happen in the future that you're hoping for, the good thing that you haven't experienced before, it happens when you use the right system. And all you're doing is you're doing the same thing over and over again. But good things start happening to you. The things that you actually expect begin to happen. And that's the simple hallmark of a good system. The Pawn Reboot system is called a system because that's how I designed it. I don't know about you, but you know, early in my reboot, I would read all these books, I would read articles, I'd have all these complex plays, and all of it would become so frustrating and overwhelming because I kept relapsing. And I just realized that it was because I didn't have a system. I thought that pulling together a patchwork of different things and trying them a little bit was going to work. But the problem is, if you don't know what works, then you're not really going to commit to doing it over and over again. You know what I'm saying? So if you know that, like, okay, I know that this thing works. I've seen the testimonials and I've seen the results. Like there's enough energy and proof behind it for me to actually commit to it. And you're going to do it over and over again. And so what I decided to do was I decided to look for the parts of recovery that actually worked over and over when I did them over and over again for myself, first of all, not for other people. And once I did that and I kept adding to it, I ended up having a system that worked for me. The great part about it was that for the vast majority of people, not everyone, our program is not for everybody, the system ended up working. So for some men, you're watching this video and you think, system. Okay, cool. But that sounds complicated. Do I have to like buy your program or something like that? No, absolutely not. In fact, the simplest way for you to establish a system in your life is to begin with deciding on a non-negotiable for yourself. So non-negotiable would be something that is beneficial to you, that if you did it on a repeated basis would give a good result, but it isn't a framework and it isn't a group of things like a system. It's just one thing. And the reason why I say start with a non-negotiable is because just because the system is available doesn't mean that you're going to use it. 
I'll give you an example. On this YouTube channel, the entire Porn Reboot system is available. For the most part, I'd say about 90% of the program is available. Now, it's not arranged in any particular order, but there are men who have used the system because they believed in it. They're like, you know what? I know that what JK is doing and saying works because I watched one of his videos and it was about dealing with a certain part of my reboot. And I decided, you know what? I can commit to doing this thing that this strange man on the internet said I should do. I can commit to doing that every day. They did that every day and it turned out that it actually worked for them. And so they ended up using the material on this YouTube channel to end their behavior. The problem is that most men who watch this channel are not going to pick anything to do over and over again. You unfortunately are watching other channels and you're taking the habits from those channels, which is entertaining yourself, and you're doing the same thing on this YouTube channel. So you show up to the channel, you hear what I have to say, you would like to implement it, but because you built up this YouTube habit of entertaining yourself with cool information, you end up doing the same thing with what is a system. And thus you're not taking full advantage of the system. So my point is that just because a system is available as it is on this channel, doesn't mean you're going to use it. So the best way to, how would I say, condition yourself to actually start using a system is to actually find a non-negotiable. Now, I'll give you some examples. Within our program, one non-negotiable for some men would be showing up to my session every Wednesday or every Tuesday, depending on the program that they're in. For others, it would be having a very detailed morning routine. For others, it would be attending a meeting if they're in a 12-step program, for instance. So find something that's a non-negotiable. Non-negotiable means that you cannot negotiate your way out of it. Your partner cannot negotiate it for you. Like she cannot get you to nothing, nothing short of death or somebody forcing you, tying you down can stop you from doing that non-negotiable. And when you start implementing that brother, that is the first step to preparing yourself to use a system. I'm not saying this lightly. Not every man is ready to use a system. Some men want to join our program. They get on a call with our reboot strategists, with our team members, and they get rejected. Why? Because we can tell that you're not ready to use a system. You just like what you hear. It sounds good. You want to throw money down. No, you're going to end up wasting your money and you're going to end up making a company look bad. So again, you want to prepare yourself to use a system. A very simple way to find out if you're ready to use a system or not is if you're struggling to end your out of control behavior, and you're like, JK, I've been listening to your podcast and I've been watching your YouTube channel for years, but my behavior hasn't changed. Well, you probably haven't been implementing the things that you've learned on this channel because we've had some brothers and you can go down to the success stories part of this channel. We've had some brothers who have spent time on this channel for about a year to two years and they have permanently ended their out of control behavior. We have video testimonials there. When it comes to the benefits of actually having a system, the biggest benefit that you're going to experience from having a system for ending your out of control behavior would be relapse prevention. A few days ago, a brother in our group asked me how he could stop himself while edging. He was like, man, he was like, well, he didn't ask me. He asked all the guys in the group. He's like, how can I stop myself from going back from, you know, the point of no return where you're jerking off and you're like, fuck it. Right? How do I stop myself there? We do not teach that in our system, right? It's cool to share that as a win. It's cool to say, guys, I was watching porn and I'm so proud of myself because when I would typically orgasm, I didn't. I somehow pulled myself back. The reason why I say it's cool, but it's not a big deal is because you probably use willpower and you're not able to replicate that. Thus, it is not a system. It is not something that you can do over and over again while having or seeing the results improve. Does that make sense? And so it's so important that when it comes to relapse prevention, you have a system to prevent yourself from even getting to the point where you would relapse, even getting to the point where you would slip to the point where you would edge. Right. So pulling yourself back, to be quite frank with you, early in my reboot, I got to a certain point where I was just like, fuck it. If you're going to do it, just go ahead and do it because you messed up. If you are sitting down, JK, and you are watching pornography, that means you fucked up already.
like this whole willpower thing of pulling yourself back, the reality is that it doesn't matter because there's no guarantee you're going to be able to do it the next time. But if you have the right system for relapse prevention, then you can find yourself preventing yourself from doing something over and over again. So the first thing we do in our system is get you to the point of prevention. And then you're good to go from there. I guess I'll end it with a final benefit. The benefit of having a system would be that it stops you from relying on willpower. Now, there's this misconception for many men who follow this system. You know, a guy will say like, well, JK, I didn't wake up in the morning and do my morning routine and not hit snooze. And I thought you said that this program doesn't involve willpower. Well, how come I need to use willpower to use the tools? That isn't what it's about. Every human being needs a certain amount of willpower. The problem is that men who are struggling with an out of control behavior with pornography, when it comes to their urges, when it comes to arousal, the only thing you're depending on is willpower. When you have the right system, you will be able to subconsciously, and this is not even you, it's just, it's just going to happen. You will automatically be able to stop yourself from viewing pornography, from crossing a certain boundary you will automatically implement self-care because you've programmed and conditioned yourself to do so. You don't have to constantly use willpower. Now, if that sounds crazy, if you're just like, God, I, I don't know how that happens. I don't even believe if that's possible. That's okay. You know, early in my reboot, I didn't think that that was the case either. I just, like I mentioned earlier, I was just picking stuff from different places. I wasn't doing anything over and over again. And I would always come back to willpower. The only difference between me and you was that at a certain point, thanks to some mentors, I was able to see, they were able to show me that, hey, dude, you always end up back in the same place. And the same place isn't a relapse. The same place is you end up using the same tool that doesn't work to try to do something. It's like you're trying to use a spanner to get a nail out of a wall when you need to use something else to get it out, right? Maybe you need to use the back of a claw hammer to pull the nail out, but you're just like, well, I want, why won't the spanner get it out? You're just using an absolutely wrong tool. So a good coach will be able to show you, kind of break you out of the cycle that you're in. And it's a crazy cycle. It's almost as if you're living in this nightmare this crazy dream world where you're struggling to get out, but just something seemed to make sense. But ultimately, every path you take is a dead end. And that dead end is willpower. So my point is, long story short, gentlemen, systems, something you stick to emphatically and methodically are going to help you have predictable results, which improve as you repeat them over and over again. And I believe that that's what every brother who's serious about ending their out of control behavior with pornography and masturbation should strive to do. So I hope that made sense. It's super late here. I'm a little bit tired, <laughs> but I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll speak to you later on in the week. Whenever you're ready, here are four ways that Porn Reboot can help you out for free. The first way is to subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on the notification bell to get a new video every other day. The second way is to get a copy of the free book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. You'll learn about my personal struggle and the lessons I've learned over a decade, as well as strategies for putting together your porn reboot plan and ending your compulsive behavior with pornography or masturbation. So click on the link in the description below this video. The third way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals, entrepreneurs, business owners, guys who work in sales, consulting, or high-level jobs, men who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's also a link to join in the description below this video. And finally, if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, you want to be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt, and underachieving, click on the link in the description below this video that says free coaching call or visit elevatedrecovery.org and click on the link which says book 
a call.